So I started about three and a half years ago, um, reported to Sally, the previous CEO, and then we hired uh, Winnie Park. Um, I'm in charge of all finance and accounting, but I also am in charge of the CIO, Fred, reports up through me in that organization, and also supply chain. Um, and I have legal and risk management too. So really, every, all the operations other than store operations. Paper stores had gone from 20 stores, you know, to 100 stores very quickly. And even since I, you know, when I got there three years ago, we had 80 stores, now we have 125. I mean, that's 50% growth. I mean, that's fairly rapid over three years. And they did not invest in IT or infrastructure. So when I had gotten there, um, you know, we had an assessment done and, and things that were happening, um, our distribution center regularly was down because data wasn't available. We had email outages, just outages nonstop. Um, we were not PCI compliant. Um, we had all kinds of data uh, integrity issues across the systems. So um, really did a full blown assessment and realized we had to make a decision about infrastructure. And uh, obviously we'd worked with a group, the Laughlin group who recommended Archon, brought them in. And one of the first things to do is let's get the platform and let's get out of the infrastructure business. If you, if you think about, step back and look at a company, the management team you can assess fairly quickly in a couple meetings. You know if that game, they've got game or not answering some questions, right? The product and service, first of all, the customer reacts to that, right? You've got data. If people are buying it, it's working. If they're not, they're not. But you can go in a store or, you know, if you're a service provider. Um, IT, you got to look under the covers. And so I don't know how detailed they had a third party come in and do a detailed assessment. So I think that's number one. And it's not just a half day. It is a, you know, get in there and really understand and assess where you're at. I think ultimately um, where maybe during the due diligence, things were missed. I think we had brought Archon early on in the in, in the investment. And as part of that partnership, uh, they were providing and uncovering a lot of findings and helping us develop solutions uh, early on and really doing dil due diligence on the fly after the acquisition. And obviously we value that partnership. I think if you were to step back and, and look at it from my perspective, ultimately the CFO and figure out, you know, where do we spend our cash? Um, Obviously, there's a cost to Archon. There's a cost that we are paying every month for those support and services. But when you look at the CapEx that I've not had to invest, which is obviously sizable and you've got to maintain that. But number two, around the expertise within the building. And it's more challenging for a smaller firm uh, to try to have that expertise in house. So all in, you know, not only do we have a much better product, but I firmly believe from a cash perspective, it's a cheaper answer. And obviously that makes me happy.